Hey, this is just a quick video I wanted to give a shout out to all of you. Wow, I have not received a response on anything I've done for about a year that I've had this channel that I have from you guys uh, in regards to my recent Kurt Cobain audiobook reading of Love and Death by Wallace and Halperin. So I want to thank you. It really means a lot to me to wake up in the morning and read comments that are like, hey man, great job for finishing your first audiobook. Of course, now, I just read the thing, right? So I do have a problem with um, people on YouTube who just repost other people's content. So hopefully you don't think I did that with Love and Death. Um, the investigation is all the authors, but the commentary, of course, is mine. And the comments are yours. The perspective on this that you have is yours. I'm happy to finally put the Kurt Cobain case to rest. I've done so many videos on him because he is probably my favorite artist, if I had to pick a certain person. You know, a lot of people have their John Lennons, Bob Marley, Bob Dylan. Um, yeah, there's some great people to pick from. Radiohead. A lot of people love Tom York. A lot of people think Tom York is Jesus. Now, <clears throat> I don't worship at the altar of Tom York, but I do think he's great. I do think he is great. And thankfully, we still have him. And if we look back at the last few years, we have a lot of these rock stars. Chris Cornell, Jester Bennington, all sorts of other people. Right. Um, and of course, we lost Lane Staley and all the rockers from the 90s. <clears throat> largely due to their own addictions. That grungy Seattle scene. Even people who are still alive, like Daniel Johns from Silverchair, have had to struggle with eating disorders and addictions. And the more we learn about fame, the more we realize it sucks. Fame sucks. So, this is going to be a short video. I never do these kind of things. I never watch these kind of things. You know, videos that are under five minutes. Because we are all just helping each other trying to get through the day. I will let you know. I have a new idea about a series of videos. Um, I'm watching <clears throat> a video, a documentary called I Am Heath Ledger. You've probably seen this thing. Um, I'm not going to link it because I'm too lazy, but just YouTube, I Am Heath Ledger. There's a lot of murky circumstances. I do, I do not think Heath Ledger was murdered, by the way. Not everything has to be a murder conspiracy. But I personally would like to look into his relationship with Michelle Williams and all the things they're talking about here because they're just kind of briefly touching on him. So how, and you know, if I continue to watch this and all my questions are answered, then no, there will be no Heath Ledger videos. But how did Ledger find himself, you know, why, for example, they just glossed over his breakup with Michelle Williams. Why did they break up? Was it over his drug use? Are they going to return to this subject I like to investigate things. They don't always need to be conspiracies. I'm interested in addiction relationships. But we're going to do that in a little bit. As I said, I've made some promises. I've made some promises, ladies and gentlemen, to conclude Deliverance. The movie's great. The movie is certainly great. Rest in peace, Burt Reynolds. Okay, John Voight, I think you're still alive. Ned Beatty, I think you're still alive. All right. I don't need to go around... <clears throat> Rest in peacing people who are still alive. We're not here to pre-eulogize. You guys can keep living. Bert, you get the you get the rip, Bert. Okay? You handsome, strong bastard you. Rest in peace up there in heaven with Elvis, just like arm wrestling. Elvis. I mean you're gonna win every time. So I wanna say thank you to the new subscribers. And for people who have been there, uh, oh, dude, why are you giving an Academy Awards speech? I know, I'm just, it, I'm not trying to, I want to thank God, I want to thank God, I want to thank my manager, <clears throat> mom, who's always been there since the beginning of this channel for a whole year. Uh, I want to thank dogs in general, because dogs have given me my strength with their unconditional love. Thank you, dogs. Thanks, God and dogs. Um, and, you know, finally, I'd like to thank my loving wife, Shamatronda. 
Chamatranda. I don't know your ethnicity. You have a weird name. You sound like a mix between a robot and an African warrior, Shamatranda. But I love you anyway, so thank you. And mostly to you listeners. Um, yeah, appreciate it. So, Kurt Cobain Project, officially a success. Um, and really, that's due to the source material. Okay, It was an audio book with my commentary. Concluding deliverance, as you know, and going back to Elliot Smith, unless I decide to look at Heath Ledger and the artist that he was. This whole myth, oh, playing the Joker drove him mad, and then he took too many pills and died. Huh? What? That? What? Yeah, when he played the Joker, he went crazy, and then he took too many pills and died. Oh. Okay. No questions needed there. All right, guys. Thank you. This has been Media GTA saying, uh, I appreciate your interest. I really appreciate your feedback on the Kurt Cobain. Why are you sound like you're crying? Jesus Christ, bro. I'm not crying. No, let's try that again. I appreciate your feedback and nice words on the Kurt Cobain uh, series. It really made it all worthwhile. It was worthwhile anyway. But when you know other people are uh, digging it, It's a big old warm fuzzy heart. Okay, shut up, faggot, I hear you say. All right, later.